Well, every vote counts in an election, but in some cases, not every voter can make it to the polls. That was almost the case for a handful of patients Sutter Roseville Medical Center had. ABC 10's John Bartell shows us how the polls came to them. This isn't your average delivery boy. <laughs> That's because this isn't your average delivery. I've only done this is my third run. John Amaya doesn't know it yet, but he's about to make the second most important delivery of Danica Roy's day. She was a surprise. Danica's day started out early. Five in the morning. And of all days to come out, Little Jersey had to come out today. I'm watching other people vote, <laughs> pretty much. Had the birth happened later in the day, Danica could have made it to the polls. Hello. Hi. How's it going? This is where John comes in. He's with the Placer County Election Office. Sutter Medical Center called him up to help about 15 other patients cast their ballot. Hi, how's it going? Just because you're not as mobile as you used to be, yeah. that doesn't mean you shouldn't be left out on election day. It's been good. I've liked it. When you got a guy like John looking out for you, you can bet he'll deliver. So her birthday is on election day. Does that mean the birthday party is going to be at the poll station? <laughs> Probably not. In Roseville, John Bartell, ABC 10 News.